say keep it real because hip hop is the daughter of the blues. Alright? So we're keeping this shit really real right now. We're keeping it really fucking real. Here we are. 1965, the riots, the counter fucking revolution, the exploitation movies. Fast forward, 1992. Rodney King get beat the fuck up in front of everybody. The whole world saw Rodney King get beat the fuck up. Why did the people rebel when the cops got off? Because they were oriented politically by the music. The most ubiquitous record in the black community was Fight the Power. It was Fight the Power. It was X-Clan. It was Poor Righteous Teachers. It was Brand Nubian. So they knew to the people that you've had already been oriented that we not gonna take this shit. We gonna shut it down because we can't trust it, so we fighting the power. That's just what it was, right? So we rioted in 1992, and what did they do? They said, yo, hold up. We gotta change the fucking playlist. Just like when that turned in 1832, just like the long hot summer 65, 67, they shift the paradigm. And the next thing you know is I'm the dope man, yeah boy wear corduroy, pockets out the here and I'm unemployed. I keep slinging these rocks and my pocket get bigger, yo catch that 5 oh, double up niggas! That's where we went, because that's where mainstream started pushing. Now the label started signing all of these motherfuckers with this content. And they started just put, promoting a particular brand of hip hop content. Hip hop did not die. They shifted the playlist. And it didn't just happen here. My brother Davey D from out Oakland, California took show and proof how it happened in Africa at the same time. You understand? They shift the playlist, man. Pay attention. So what happened was, 2005, Sean Bell get killed. He gets shit and shot 50 fucking times. The police all get off, just like with Rodney King. But there was no riot. Why was there no riot? The number one fucking song in the black community was like a lollipop. 